Don't swear, Jordy. I gotta try and watch my swearing, guys. Shit. Okay. So, I've been working the last couple of days. Haven't been uh, really doing much carving. But I thought I'd try something different today. Today, the carving fusion. Who's ever been spanked by one of these suckers? This one's well used. But who's been spanked by one of these suckers when they're younger? If you have, well, you're probably around the age group, same age group as I am. I'm 45. Ah, I remember, I remember when I did something bad and I was in sh uh, trouble. And I knew I was going to get the wooden spoon. I'd always try and uh, like put magazines down my pants. <laughs> So you didn't get the good old spanking. Oh, my parents would never knew I had a magazine shoved down my pants. <laughs> ah, okay. So let's carve a wooden spoon. I thought, uh, you know, I've been processing and thinking about the videos and carving wood spirits and whatever else things I carve. I think um, a spoon, they're real popular. People love using them if they're cooking or even like uh, put a hook up here and make it a wall hanger. I think it's something real basic to carve. And um, another thing I've been thinking about too, like here's a Dremel flex shaft that I use. I'm going to be using the cut saw bit once again. Okay. And here's the Fordham with the cut saw bit extreme. This is the 1 8 extreme. Uh, it will, um, the burrs, the cut saw burrs and a link to the site will be in the, where I talk about the information below in this video. And if you put C-Fusion in there, you'll save 5%. But anyways, not everybody's good using hand tools, okay? Not everybody's used them all their lives. So these things, look how aggressive they are. This one's kind of a couple months old and wore, worn away a bit too. The points are a bit worn. But look how aggressive this sucker is, man. And this thing has a lot of power. So if this thing bites and takes off, this could... I hate to be so so honest and frank but this thing can rip your friggin face off you know i've had it rip across my thumb ripped up my whole thumb i still have uh yeah hit my knuckle there see that's from a month ago so it went pretty deep yeah my whole you can still see kind of a scar on my ripped up my whole thumb anyways so this is a spoon that i carved a month ago I don't really like the wood spirit on the end, but whatever, it could be a wall hanger. This is Paduke wood, people. This is just burnt mark down here from a dull bird that I was using. I haven't used this spoon yet. This is Paduke yet wood, guys. That's from uh, South South America, I think, or something like that. But it's a foreign wood. I don't usually carve or want to get foreign wood because you don't know like if the wood was stolen or not. You know what I mean? It's a point that I heard from a friend. So I don't know if the wood was ripped off or not. But this one's pretty deep, okay? So here's a template, another template I had kicking around of a spoon. So this one's pretty deep. So this is kind of like a serving spoon, I'd take it. Or my buddy says, um, and his wife said, if you're mixing it, you could put, if you're making a soup, like a turkey soup, you can lift a spoon and see if all the ingredients are like uh, mixed up in here good. So yeah, you can make it out of any type of wood you want. And you, all, you need, all you need is a jigsaw, guys. Just draw out your template. You can have a, any template you want. Doesn't have to be this thick. This is pretty thick, too. I think this is like an inch and a half. Uh, do I have a tape measure around here? And I don't. So I'd say this is just, I don't know, guys. People might ask me for the measurements, but make your own measurements. Make your own spoons. Make your own style. You know, it doesn't have to be a wood spirit carved in there. It can be anything. You can put a word in there, hope or cook or mom or whoever the cook is, grandma, whatever you want to do. Get lost, beat it, F off, whatever you want. Okay? So let's try this uh, video. So I didn't finish it off here because whatever. I forgot to sand it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, you can use any type of wood you, you want to use. And make sure it's not poisonous wood, guys. <laughs> you don't want to be cooking for uh, for some guests, some soup or whatever, and use a spoon and poison everybody. I don't think it would. I don't see how it could, but whatever. 
Okay, so um, this is lots of parts of this video is just going to be fast forwarded because look, it's already five minutes and I'm just talking too much. Shut up, Jordy, and start carving. So I'll sketch on my. Um, okay, let's just see here. So I'll sketch everything on. I'll just hold on. Say so, guys. When you do your lines, always start off if, if you're just new. Here, I, once again, I'm doing my center line. Okay. Almost center. So when you're doing your your lines, always start off with a pencil. I'm using a pen so you guys can see it better here. I wouldn't make your walls too thin. So I'm going to get the worst part over with first. I'm going to carve all this out in here. With the, uh, with this sucker. Okay, this is the Fordham industrial model. So let me get this carved out. And, um, yeah, so our spoon shape, you know, if, if you can see in here how I made a shape. It goes whoosh, up there, it bows up in there. So draw your lines down and then bow it up here. You can use this line for a reference line for the other side, just cut it through, right? And we'll make this a bit thinner here. Just have fun, guys. Enjoy it. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Okay, so there you go. There's going to be kind of shapes and stuff on my uh, spoon. Smoke break. You can see I got my rough uh, shape cut out. Kind of like a gap there. I've carved this a bit lower, the bottom a bit lower. So when it's sitting there and somebody's cooking, you know, hopefully the stuff won't drip back here. I don't know. There's lots of uh, carving spoon videos, guys. This is like my second spoon I've carved, or maybe third. So I don't know if you should be following me. I'm just. Um, Making a spoon because guess what? It's Sunday today and I feel like it. <laughs> a big point I, I want to put across there is like when you're carving something or drawing something or painting something, don't don't care what people's comments are and what they have to say when you're first starting out because um when they when they say something negative, this world's full of haters. Okay, absolutely. We all know it. But when somebody says something negative about your art, just go in your head, think in your head, yep, okay, you're a goddamn asshole. But uh, 
give me a couple of years. I'm going to be hitting my art really hard. I'm going to be progressing. I'm going to be getting better and better and better. And let's see what you have to say in a couple of years. And again, I hope I don't see you in a couple of years. Actually, tell you the truth, I hope I don't ever see you again. But when I do see you, you might have a different opinion on my art. Because nothing comes free, people. You know, like, it's all the hard work and time that you put in to what you do. Things get better. You know, I'm 45. I'm still learning everything every day. You know, the more time you put in and the, the more you try harder, the better you're going to get. I'm still a rookie carver, average rookie carver like you guys too. So, you know, I think a spoon's a real good shape for the, like, somebody that's just first picking up a Dremel or something because it will let you feel the tool in your hands and figure out how it works and how it can jump and how it can all of a sudden dig in. You know what I mean? I think it's a real good beginning for a real rookie carver is to do, try some spoons. I don't know if I'm going to carve anything on the head here. I thought about an eagle's head. You know, I could have made one like this. Or I could have made it like, so the, it's kind of wings down here. And you see part of his head. I don't know. I'll just uh, keep carving. Nice wood though, eh? It's like orange. It's kind of like oak. You see those little holes in there? It's about the same strength as oak too. But look at the grain in there. It, it looks purple from here, guys. But once it dries, it just goes brown. Poo brown. Okay, so I I just want to make this a fast video, so I'm not going to get too detailed. But I drew out an eagle head on here, and I'll do a fast forward um, video of me carving this out. I got the um, once again, guys. This is a Roto Zip Burr. Okay, you can buy them at Home Depot or your bigger hardware stores. Just look for Roto Zip. It's a tile cutter, a tile wall cutter. Okay. We're in the package around here. Yeah, here's the package right here. Okay, one eighth in your Dremel flex shaft. And I'm going to cut on the outside of the lines. I think I've gone through the video without swearing. So here's the eagle head that um, I carved and I just carved some nice lines down there just to add this, some character to the spoon. So I think I'm pretty well done all the carving. Oh yeah, I gotta carve a little bit of this out just to make it um, more of the same on both sides or maybe I don't need to, but whatever. It's just a goddamn spoon, sipping spoon, yeah. Okay, so look at that eagle head, yeah. You're all going to have your own styles, right, guys? You know, you can carve anything you want. I thought about carving a tree up here, too, you know, to wrap the branches around or whatever. And, you know, you can even carve something there, but then it gives uh, food can get stuck in there and make it dirty, whatever. So, I don't know, just probably just best to leave this smooth. Like I said, guys, uh, this is my third spoon I've carved. So, yeah, okay. Now what I'm going to do is, once again, use my Dremel flex shaft with this 90 degrees bit and um, this hook and loop sandpaper, man. This stuff is a time saver for me. I friggin' hate sanding. Oh, I hate it. So this disc kind of worn out. I got another one that I got a video here how to make these discs like a hook and loops velcro guys and you can buy these online on eBay just type in two inch hook and loop and uh, you'll they'll, they'll pop up I think like 10 bucks and you get a bunch of these sandpapers but the sandpapers aren't very good that you get so just stick that on there and I'm gonna freaking start sanding away
Okay, so there it is. She sounded up the best I could uh, sound her up. Sign your pieces, people. So this is, uh, once again, this is uh, Ford wood. It's Paduke wood. Look at the grade in there, eh? Pretty damn beautiful. It looks really orange here. Probably not on camera, but here it looks super orange. But like I said, um, after a while, I'll go brown. But you can see what I mean by it kind of has the same character as oak by those little holes in there. The way the grain goes. See that? But anyways, so I woke up this morning and decided I wanted to carve a goddamn spoon. An eagle head spoon. That's what you get. This morning, uh, I worked the last couple days. I was super tired after work this morning. And um, I didn't have any cream or sugar for uh, my coffee. And I don't drink it black. So I got these great neighbors, um, Lawrence's wife and his son. And uh, they they become super good friends of mine. And uh, I text them and I said, you got any coffee on, bud? He's like, yep, it's on the stove right now. I went over there and got a nice, fresh, wicked coffee with honey, cream, and sugar in it. They're great people. They do a lot for me. And, um, well, I hope I can do as much for them as they do for me because in another two more minutes when I'm done hand sanding this piece, I'm going to take this over for them, give it to them for a gift. You know, that it's Sunday, guys. You know, give your pieces away for gifts. People love it, man. And uh, it makes you feel good too, right? And, um, oh, yeah, they also lent me this old weathered spoon. To show in the video, Lawrence, I think I, I think you need, might need to wash your uh, spoon. Or no, wait a minute, you can throw this one out now because you got this one coming. So another thing, two people do what you want for you, right? This uh, here's a shout out for my for one of my best friends. Uh, really means a lot to me. His name's Crow. Hey, Crow. Everybody can go fuck themselves, right? Do what's best for you. Well, and your close friends and your loved ones, too. But uh, what do you think about that eagle head? Let's, uh, let's get one made for your truck there, bud. For that uh, handle, vent handle or something like that. I'd be happy to make one for you. And uh, hope everybody's good. And there's the spoon video, people. Let's see some spoon carvings. Hey, maybe that's what I'll, the next video will be after the next wood spirit is the new spoon carver spirit video. Okay, guys, take it easy.